They've done it. They've finally done it. For the first time in over 10 years, German TF2 players are now able to legitimately remove the restrictions that come with playing the game in Germany. All they have to do is email Steam support, because of course it can't happen automatically. Now, I didn't have the restrictions for quite some time, because my brother got someone outside of Germany to buy the orange box for me and I simply activated the code. However, I think even that got patched after a while, so the only way to play the uncensored version was by fiddling around with commands. But I don't think you realize how important this is. Germany was, and to an extent still is, pretty freaking strict about violence in video games. They loosened up over the years, so it seems like they finally got the memo that, hey, fake blood and gore doesn't turn people into homicidal maniacs. Now we just gotta wait for them to loosen up on other things like Nazi imagery. Did you know that Wolfenstein 3D is still banned in Germany just because there are swastikas in it? That game is older than me! Hey, Germany, I am fighting the Nazis. They're the bad guys. Why would you prevent me from fighting Nazis? But I digress. I just thought that because German TF2 players can now play the game the way it was meant to be played, that someone should do a showcase of what made the German version of TF2 so special. And who would be better qualified to do so than me, German Peter, the only German TF2 YouTuber on the entire planet. I said the only one. So come and join me on this journey and see TF2 how you've never seen it before. Alright, I'm hyping it up way more than it needs to be. Eh, here we go. I tell ya, German censors hate blood. They want to pretend that it doesn't exist, and even if it did, that it couldn't leave the human body. Usually, game designers find a workaround, such as by making the blood green or black and pretending you're fighting robots or aliens. Valve did the exact same thing, so of course there's no blood splatter on walls or anything. And every time you hit an enemy with a bullet, they would just emit sparks instead of blood. Flesh wounds were also replaced with dents and bullet holes as if the mercs were made out of metal. Oh my goodness, I just realized something. Everyone is a robot! Valve had planned MVMs at the very beginning of the game! Now if only they would also not pretend it doesn't exist! It doesn't stop there, however. Remember how enabling Pyrovision turns gyps into silly gyps? So instead of organs, enemies just drop balloon animals, rubber ducks, burgers and gears and so on? Yeah, that's been that way since launch for German players. Sure, it's pretty silly and kinda cute, but turning someone into a bunch of joke items just doesn't feel as satisfying as turning them into a pile of bloody organs. Oh, and decapitating someone doesn't create a head jib either. Where's the fun in that? I just don't understand Valve's thought process. If you're gonna pretend that the mercs are actually robots, then why not make them drop only gears and screws? Why also hamburgers and shoes and unicycles? You know what's even more confusing though? Okay, get this, the Ubersaw and Extinguisher have no blood on them. However, weapons like the Clade Hammer, the Scotsman Skullcutter, Boston Basher, Vitasaw, etc. do have blood on them. Alright, so maybe just the earliest weapons are censored and Valve and Germany just stopped caring when they implemented the later ones. You'd think so, but no! Because the Hafsa Toichi doesn't get bloody either. And that weapon came out after the Vitasaw, Boston Basher and Clade Hammer. Why are they so inconsistent? Okay, these are community created weapons, but then why not just ask the creators to also include a bloodless version? Like with the half star Toichi! And why would you even censor a weapon for having blood on it after having already added weapons with blood on them? Let's just switch topic to something else before I descend into madness. Oh, actually, before we move on, something else came up while I was writing the script. The recent update made it so that the Vita saw spawns random organs on hit. Now call me Jojo because it's about to get bizarre. Considering what you learned today about censoring blood, what do you think happens in the censored version? A random silly jib flies out together with confetti or something? You'd think so, but nope! I specifically enabled low violence for this video. Dang it Valve, can't you stay consistent for once? But hey, you think that is bad? Check out the German version of Team Fortress Classic. Everyone is robot in that game. Not robots, just robot. Because every class uses the same robot model. There is no way to distinguish them unless you pay very, very close attention to their weapons. This is like if the class lineup of TF2 didn't look like this, but rather like this. Have fun, kids! As to be expected, the Meet the Team trailers got dubbed in German as well. Well, at least the earliest ones like Soldier, Scout, Heavy, Engineer and Sniper. No Meet the Spy, sadly. I always wanted to make some memes out of that one. The dumps themselves are nothing special, though some quotes are pretty hilarious. Außer wenn's ein Bauernhof ist. I just gotta laugh how much enthusiasm the voice actor for the soldier puts into his work. Just listen to that laugh. He's so happy. 
I actually love all of their voices. They are actually pretty accurate to their English counterparts, specifically Sniper and NG. Hey buddy, ich bin Ingenieur. Boom. Headshot. Of course, they could never replace the original, but dang it if they aren't entertaining. Von mir gebaut. Und dein großes Problem, wenn sie dich anschaut. I gonna say though, Heavy is pretty miscast. He does have a Russian accent, but his voice is way too soft and too high. He sounds about 20 years younger than he really is. My name is Heavy. I'm gonna go into depth about all the voice differences later, however. Aside from that, the only things that really bother me are that some of the background sounds are a bit too loud and that they left in some of the English voice lines at times. However, I noticed something very peculiar while working on this video. And that is that Meet the Heavy has entirely different lighting in the German version. If you compare them side by side, you can see that the German one is much darker. Not only that, but the minigun's lighting is also completely messed up. Why? I have no clue. Perhaps it's just an earlier or later version of the SFM file or something. Still, kinda weird. At the beginning of this video, I pointed out that the censored version of TF2 pretends all the mercenaries are robots. Well, meet the team trailers take this even more literally. They're censored in the exact same ways, however the blood is also oil. This is most noticeable at the end of Meet the Soldier. After Medic's head falls down, you can see that the bone was replaced with a coil spring. The blood seems like it was turned black very half-heartedly though. I could do the same in MS Paint. Oh, just one thing though, why is the eye still there? However, I am very annoyed that the actual censored game isn't like that. Do you know how awesome it would be if all the blood was black like oil? I wouldn't even have cared that much about uncensoring the game if that were the case. I think even more games should censor blood and gore like that. I mean, I'm completely against censorship, but if you have to do it, then turning it black is the best choice in my opinion. Thinking about this, I have to wonder though, how would they have censored Meet the Medic? That video is 99% gore. They probably would have just overlaid a sad face on top of it all. Because this is what censorship does to you. It makes you sad. As I said earlier, the German voice editing is pretty alright. There's a few problems with it however. I mean, aren't there always? For starters, there is a ton of missing voice lines, especially ones that got added way later. It's pretty jarring to constantly hear German voices and all of a sudden someone yells something in English. There's also a very obvious difference in audio quality, which makes this an even bigger issue. Thank you! Dank! If it weren't for that problem, I think I might actually use the German lines from time to time. Pyro also doesn't get any new voice lines. I mean, fair enough, it's not like you need to translate mumbling or anything. It does sound out of place though. A lot of the voices are also really similar. Heavy, Soldier and Demo sound almost alike at times, and that can get very confusing in the heat of battle. Sanitator! 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 This has also something to do with the fact that Heavy is pretty miscast. Interestingly, Spy doesn't really sound French. He sounds more Spanish or something. He just roars the R a lot. Versprich nicht auf meinen Anzug zu bluten und ich mache es kurz. Regeln wir das wie Gentlemen! Really weird choice to be honest. Oh, and I want to point out something even more interesting. Scout has a really bad potty mouth. I'm serious, his cusses are way worse than in the English version. Just listen to these lines and read the translation. Willst du mich verscheißen? Nein, ernsthaft, ihr seid alle scheiße. Wir sind am Arsch. Verabschiede dich von einem geheimen Scheiß voll Spaß. Ich hab deinen Scheiß kaputt gemacht. Fällt dir dazu auch was ein Klugscheißer? Stell dich auf den verdammten Punkt voll Spaß. Uh, ja, ich hab echt Schiss. Hey, ihr Pussis. Ach, komm doch, du verdammte Pussy. Oh, hey, du bist scheiße. Tell me those aren't way more offensive than the original ones. I mean, it does fit his character, but he seems an even bigger jerk in this version. Oh, and one more thing. I don't know where I read this, so I can't really check anymore, but if I recall correctly, the German voice actor for Scout also voices Ferb from Phineas and Ferb. So yeah, just imagine Ferb saying all these things. Come doch, du verdammte Pussy! Although some of the quotes are direct translations, some of them got slightly changed, for better or for worse. I kinda dig them though. Here's some of my favorite German quotes. Du bist der mutierte Abschaum des Abschaums dieser Erde. Nun reiß dich doch zusammen, Prinzessin Stefanie. Ich bin nur in diesem Team, um Kindergärtner wie euch zu töten. Hey, come on, Soldier. Some of us are kindergarten teachers here. Wir machen jetzt Team, Doktor. Du spürst das Feuer? Du bist schau. Auf deiner Stirn könnten Flugzeuge landen, wenn du zeigen willst, wie schlecht du bist. Glückwunsch! Oh, du Strickmützenverkäufer! Feigling! Feigling! Ich meine es Bier ernst, Kumpel. Alright, I know exactly what you're thinking. 
You're wondering what Medic sounds like in the German version. Does he speak accurate German? Does he sound even crazier? Does he sound out of place perhaps? I mean he is speaking in his native language finally. Well, it turns out that Medic doesn't actually exist in the German version. Yes, that's right. Germany hates violence so much that they removed him. They didn't want to imply that a German could go on a genocidal rampage. That also explains the absence of medics and pubs, because German TF2 players are literally unable to pick him. The class menu just shows an empty spot where he'd normally be. Even calling for a medic just results in the class saying, I got a big owie, but that's fine because such is life and there's no need for medical assistance. Not that it would matter though, because medics are permanently invisible to German players. If everyone in the team went medic, a German would just think he's playing by himself. It's especially freaky when they then change to a different class because they suddenly appear again. And remember what I said about Meet the Medic earlier? It turns out that Valve had planned a German version of the trailer. It was supposed to be called Don't Meet the Medic because you can't actually meet him because he doesn't exist. So just keep playing the game as normal but without Medic but it's not like he knew he existed anyway. This also explains why literally no one plays the game in Germany. A German player plays the game, then they take damage but no one actually heals them so they die and get frustrated and uninstall the game. Same reason why German YouTubers don't exist either. I said they don't exist. I was the only one to actually break out of this, which is exactly why I play Medic. I want to show German players that hey, he actually exists. Valve is lying to you, Germany is lying to you, it's all a big conspiracy. And I'm the only person you can trust, which is also the reason why you should totally subscribe to me. And that is a German experience. Okay, just kidding. Medic's German voice is kinda... Eh, it doesn't sound like he's that much into it. Sieht nach Dummkopf fest aus. Hatten die Fräuleins etwa Schmerz um die Mitte? Auf Wiedersehen, Dummkopf. Team! Bereite dich auf die Untersuchung vor. <lacht> ich bin der Übermensch. Danke, Dummköpfe. Ich werde deine Knochen durchsägen. He seems more reasonable and sane, which is something Medic should never be. But I do love how everyone keeps shouting, Sanitäter! I think that's very cute. But are the voices better? No! No, of course not! They're nowhere near the perfection of the original voices. But they are kinda charming in a tongue in cheek kinda way. Kind of like German dubs in general. Alright, let's finish this video off with some funny translations. Did you ever wonder what on earth localization files are or why they get updated so often? It's basically just a translation of all the pieces of text you see in the game. So whoever is doing the German translations, head off to you. And Valve, if you need another German for translation, I mean, I'm here, you can just ask me if you want, you know. But let's get back on track. Considering a lot of weapon names are puns that only work in English, they had to come up with a lot of their own names for the German version. And I would like to share some of my favorites with you. First up, the cloak and dagger. The German name, Standuhr. It translates to grandfather clock but also standing clock and that's exactly what you do with it. You just stand around and wait for it to recharge. They knew. The jack is just called jaguar. You know, like the animal. Why? I don't know. I guess because the jagged edges make it look like a jaguar's mouth with teeth? I have no idea. Germans are very proud of naming things after exactly what they are or what they do. And the best example for that is the gunslinger. The original is a reference to people who are very good at shooting, as well as the engineer slinging his sentry guns around. The German name? Sentry Werfer. Translation? Sentry Thrower. Can't get more literal than that. I just love these translations, they always crack me up. But what about you? Does your language also have some funny translations? I'm pretty sure they do. In that case, please let me know, because I'm sure I'll find them hilarious as well. And there you have it. The German version of TF2. Is it a mess? Yes. But there's still some kind of charm to it. It almost feels like an entirely different game. I would be lying if I said I didn't like it at least a little bit. I'll take Gore and the original voice actors over it any day though. But it seems like Valve doesn't even care for it anymore either. They never added more voice lines for other languages and they even allow you to remove the blood now. So I guess this is it. With this video I say goodbye to you German TF2. You were fun for a while. And by that I mean until I learned how to change language and enable gore. Auf Wiedersehen, mein Freund. You will not be missed, but you will always stay in our hearts. And you know who also stays in my heart? My patrons! Man, these segues write themselves. Yes, my patrons, let me list them all. There's Clayton, Yonero, sorry if I mispronounced that, LDCT Kane, Lasse Solbjerg, Zachary Leckler, and the Pizer Man. 
And you, yes, you can also be a patron. If not, that's also perfectly fine. Just watching my videos and perhaps even subscribing is more than enough. And I'm grateful for all kind of support. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day and... Auf Wiedersehen.